Okay, so it says that he correctly graphed this here, and he wants to know which one of these equations it is. So first I'm going to go over my favorite cover it up method for graphing. This goes through x equals 3 and y equals negative 5. y equals negative 5. So first we're going to test this one here. If I cover this up, this would give me x equals 3x equals negative 5. If I divide by 3, do I get x equals 3? No, so this is not the right answer. And likewise, this is not going to be the right one either. It's got to be one of these here. If I cover this up, I have 3x equals 15, so x equals 5. Oh, that's not right. I need x equals 3. So that's not the right one. Let's do this one. Cover this up. 5x equals 15. Oh, that's x equals 3. Now cover this one up. Negative 3y equals 15. Divide by negative 3. That's y equals negative 5. And that's what I have here. Because it's got the little line underneath it, that means it's a solid line here. And I could finish checking to make sure it's graphed, uh, shaded on the right side by plugging in the point 0, 0 here. 0 times 5 is 0, minus 3 times 0 is 0. 0 is less than or equal to 15. It is. This is the right one.